What's up, beautiful kittens? My name is Monica Kincaid, and I got some shit to tell you. Get ready. So before I get into the wonderful title of this video, make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload, all that good stuff. Make sure you check out my social media, which will be over there and down in the description box. And my drama group, support group, Untamed Beauties is also going to be linked down there. And please do not join if you're sensitive to a tad bit of drama because I don't want to deal with people getting upset because there is a little bit of drama and fights happening. It's an uncensored group. Shit happens, but we're really chill. Not a whole lot happens in my group except for everyone getting along. So, I mean, if you could just overlook the tiny bit of drama that may happen, let's all just get along. Like, it's okay. No need to come after me because some drama happens. Like, it's okay, I promise. My friend Laura and I went to the Princeton Cemetery by where I live in Texas because it was supposedly haunted. And I like to antagonize shit sometimes, so I was like, let's go ghost hunting in a cemetery. Because I've gone ghost hunting plenty of times. Like, I've gone to cemeteries and ghost hunted. I've, I've never like recorded though, like I've never recorded, I just went to see like is something gonna touch me, pull me, yell in my ear, scream, I don't know, like just see, you know? I've gone plenty of times but I never really caught anything so like I didn't expect a whole lot, like I really didn't expect much, especially since um, the cemetery is kind of next to like a really busy road that goes through a neighborhood, so there was cars coming and going like left and right and it was right off of the highway I live by, Ooh. there was a lot of cars coming and going. So I just didn't really expect much because it wasn't often spooky, no man land. But I mean, I still brought my microphone and my phone and I recorded the entire time we were there. So I don't really know like the history behind this place. All I know is that it was in the like 1850s, I think it was built. So it's been around a very, 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 very fucking long time. So there's a lot of like really old spirits there, you know, like it's been there a really long time but I, there's really no like people just say like they hear talking and stuff like there's really nothing like that significant about it so I have as long as I so, you know as far as I know there was nothing really that significant about Princess Cemetery but since it was like right there I decided why not go so we went and we went in around 11 30 and it was raining like it was raining off and on so I wasn't even sure if we were gonna be able to go because it was raining, but it stopped long enough and we went out there for 30 minutes and I recorded the entire th entire 34 minutes of us being out there. I went live in my group Untamed Beauties, which I was mentioning earlier down below. The description box sits in there, just click or whatever. We went live in that group and another group, that is our sister group. We went live in both groups. Um, basically we were just exploring, like seeing if we could really see or anything. We weren't really taking EVP, I mean I was like listening. For things but we were talking like non-stop so when i re re reviewed the footage i didn't catch jack shit because all you could really hear was our asses talking i didn't really catch anything on camera like i looked at the graves and stuff and tried to see if like you could catch anything and like nothing happened so i wasn't gonna bore you and upload all 34 minutes of us fucking around and us catching nothing however towards the end is when stuff started started happening like right when we ended the lives um, well, she did, Laura did, I was recording on my phone like the entire thing. Um, but when the lives stopped is when the shit started happening. I have this all on camera, you can't really see shit because I did not fucking think about night vision. I don't know why I didn't. I just assumed that you'd be able to see through my camera. I don't know why. So what happened was, is uh, we were walking after getting done with the lives and there was a really fresh grave like off to the side, like towards the back where the fence was, um, where the houses were behind it. This grave had like a bunch of flowers, like it was fresh, like it had a bunch of flowers and stuff, like it probably like just freshly funeraled. Like we're talking like really freshly buried. There was like stuff all over the grave, like hearts and stuff. So I saw what looked like something crawling, like hunched over and like walking, like a little kid would like, they were like getting from one place to another, like on their knees, like crawling. And I was like, I didn't just see that. There's no way. And I was like, I just saw something. And so Laura's like, okay, well let's go over there. So I was gonna go take an EVP, EVP session over there. Well, there was this really drunk guy who was swerving and stuff and he drove by like five or six times and he was swerving and speeding. And so he came by again and they got my attention and I stopped and I turned towards the road and I was like, bro, you hear me go like, bro, or like, bro, or something like I said, I said like, bro, cause I'm like, dude, you're gonna like crash and die next to a cemetery. Like, can you slow down? And then Laura said, I'm out. 
and that was her sign of like i'm done we're leaving and i was like what so i turn around and she's like that thing has red eyes fuck that we're gone and so i put my camera over there not thinking that you can't see because it's fucking pitch black shine your light over there I legit just saw something move. Damn, I don't Sex, think, stop. I don't think my camera caught anything. I wanna go over there. Shit, how do I get over there? <laughs> okay. Legit have goosebumps. My fight or Brand Brandy. I my literally fight or, my fight or flight is starting to kick in, Brandy. I literally have goosebumps. Okay, we're gonna go over there, and I only need... one person is watching us right now, and I think it's just Sax. Do you want me to just go over there and try to get some EVPs off of whatever that was? There was a rock at it. There was a rock. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna piss off a ghost. That was really creepy. I gotta get over there. I'm, I'm, I'm getting my camera ready, hold on. There must be no light so I can make sure I don't step on anybody. Video. Oh, come on. On. There we go. Okay. I'm also recording. I don't want to step on anybody. I come in peace. Whatever I just saw, I come in peace, I swear. Sorry for stepping on anyone unintentionally. It's not intentional. They're just trying to find their way over. So, oh, that is such a pretty. I saw it where all that stuff is. It looks like oh, some. That's a fresh one. It looks like something moved from there to there. It's probably scared of us. Let's not. It's probably scared of us because it doesn't know what's going on. It's okay. Don't summon it. What? Did you say don't summon it? <laughs> I, mean, I come in peace. I just want to talk. No, I saw. No. It's also raining really hard. No, we're out. Okay, let's go. No, we're out. It's also raining, like, hard. <laughs> so, you know, like, what happened. So I'll insert that clip um, so you can hear, like, what we did and all that stuff. So we get in the car and we start to leave. And we drove into a family dollar by us and we started talking about, like, what, ha what happened, what we saw, and if we caught it on camera. So I reviewed the footage and I didn't catch anything. Like, I thought maybe, like, I caught an EVP because I did get quiet for a second. Like, did I catch an EVP? Did I catch it on camera? Did I see what that was? Were we hallucinating? You know, like, did we really see that? And then Laura was like, I left my debit card. I dropped it. And I was like, you want to go back there? Because at first I was like, oh shit, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back there. Because I was like freaking out that like I saw this thing crawling. And then Laura was like, take it. So I was like, I don't want to go back. But she's like, dude, I have to. And I was like, all right, fine. So we drove back and luckily her, deb her debit card was sitting like in the water. It's, by then it had stopped raining enough because she waited until it passed so that we could drive home safely because it was like pelting rain. And it was sitting in a puddle of water when we went back there and she picked it up and that's when I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go walk over there and see if I can catch an EVP. And so I start walking that way and I stopped in front of a grave just because I was really curious. Like I wasn't sure if I wanted to go over there so I ended up just stopping in front of this grave and I started asking questions. And this is when I catch a fucking EVP and I caught it. Everybody heard it when I was showing people because I was so, I've never caught anything when I went ghost hunting and I was so fucking thrilled that I caught something. So I'm asking general questions and at the time I don't hear anything, obviously I don't hear anything. So I finish asking my questions and then as I finish asking the last question, which you'll hear on the recording, I ask, do you want us to leave? And I said it really loudly. Like I had to like turn me down because I was like screaming. And right when I said that, there was a crash. It didn't sound like a normal sound, 
right in front of me and I jump backwards and I say, what was that? And Laura's like, "Uh uh-uh, there's something weird here. I get a weird feeling, we're gone. And I was like, okay. So I turn around and I'm in front of Laura. Laura is behind me and she's walking and then we both hear the crunching. It sounds like something is following us. And I turned around and I said, run. Oh no, I don't know, that freaked me out. I was like, fuck that. So we ran to the car, got in the car, and I put my camera up there to see like, will I catch anything like orbs or whatever when I play this back. So then we go home and we discuss with David like what, we, what happened and all that. And I'm, I'm sad we pushed out, but like, I don't know, that just freaked me out. Like the, the noise and then hearing the crunching of gravel behind us, like someone was following us. It just it freaked me out. So I go home and I start reviewing the footage from the EVP session because it was shorter than all 34 minutes of us fucking around. I'm listening, but I don't hear anything until the last bit where I said, do you, do you want us to leave? And literally right after, it sounds like it's saying, go home. Like immediately after, and that was right before I heard the crash. And then we were like, fuck that, we're going. So I will insert the EVP so that you can figure out for yourself, like, do you hear it? Because I posted it several times. I posted it in my group. I posted it on my own personal Facebook. And everyone was like, motherfucker, I hear that. Oh my God, that is clear as day. And and that's what I thought. Like, I didn't, I wasn't expecting it. I had like the phone up to my ears. I was listening back and I heard the go home and I freaked the fuck out. I threw my phone at Laura. I was like, dude, I heard a voice. And we played it back and she's like, oh my God, there's a voice. Like, it's. You want us to leave? It's crazy. I didn't expect to catch anything and it was like loud. So I'll play it and you can see if you hear it. Um, my friend Cassidy in the group said that she thought it said, it said no. Um, but I hear go home, but I don't know. Um, it could be no. It kind of does sound like no. Like when you're listening for no, it kind of does sound like dun dun no. But then also it sounds like go home. So I, I don't know. I don't really know what it says. When I was editing it, I turned, the only editing I did to this part was because of my, I can't do voiceovers or anything. So this is not in any way faked. Like this is actual, like what happened when we were there. Um, I just turned my voice down because my voice was really loud. Like if you hear like the recording, I'm like screaming. And then I turned up the voice because like it was really quiet and then like if you listen if you turn it up you can hear the go home because it's not like you do have to turn up the volume to hear it like it's not like go home like it's that's not yelling like it's a whisper so you have to like turn it up but then when you turn it up you can hear it so tell me what you think and i will go back to um, princeton cemetery because now that i have explored and you know i explored every inch of that cemetery other than the uh I didn't go towards the back where that fresh grave was because I was walking over there when I saw it. Um, so I, I will go over there and try to get more EVPs and talk to whatever was talking to me, ask its name, hopefully not puss out this time because I'm honestly a fucking baby. Like, I'm like, yeah, I want to like, I was asking those ghosts to come like talk to me and show me and then when they did, I was like, okay, bye. Like, I don't know, I can be a giant puss when it comes to like real ghost things. I'm easy to, t- to terrify. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think of the EVP. That's like the only thing I caught. That was the only thing. So, but at least we were only there like an hour. So, I mean, it was worth it in my opinion. It was totally worth it to catch that EVP. So tell me what you think and I love you beautiful kittens. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.